Hi, good morning. Uh, this is Raj. Uh, I have a total of um, more than nine years of IT experience, especially with data warehousing, uh, with the skill set of Teradata and Informatic and other ETL tools. So, primarily focusing into Teradata. So, before we start with the Teradata architecture and the you know details, let's start with uh, the introduction. What is Teradata? So most of you might have heard that you know recently there are a lot of databases into the market and uh, we are keep on hearing uh, Teradata a lot of times. So what is exactly a Teradata database? Is it a different from other databases and why it is so special and it is hot in the market? All right. So le let me say that you know Teradata is another RDBMS system. RDBMS, you know, I think already stands for the database management system, the relational database. So it's like works like any other relational database with the ANSI SQL statements. So the only difference here is the architecture of Teradata, which is different from other databases. And uh, Teradata was uh, started in the late 90s. Uh, and it's evolved like uh, you know very huge uh, data warehouse in the world, and most of the MNCs are actually using this as a backend, right? So, and uh, and what are the different features of Teradata that makes it so perfect and uh, so you know crazy about the databases in the market right now? Is uh, the first thing is. Uh, the shared nothing architecture of Teradata. So we we'll talk about what is shared nothing architecture in the uh, basic architecture part. So shared nothing architecture is the one of the biggest advantages. So that what happens is uh, the processes will not be shared across while you know having the data transfer between different amps. So that is why the data retrieval will be faster because uh, the each amp. Uh, We'll talk about AMP. AMP is nothing but access module processing unit, which is a processing unit of Teradata. So when there will be no sharing between different AMPs because it's a shared nothing architecture, right? And uh, it is writing on another SQL language itself. Okay, so the SQL standards for structured query language that is standard across all the database management systems, including Oracle, SQL Server, and then NetEase, DB2, whatever. So uh, the SQL is the main thing that you can actually use to you know talk to the database. That is a communication language we all know, all right? So and can be you know the server is highly uh, you know available like in terms of you know availability and all the stuff let me just show you so the architecture of Teradata hardware is uh, basically comprises of that uh, SMB nodes and then the binet internet con inter interconnect binet is nothing but uh, it's kind of a cable optical fiber cable between different nodes so that uh, you know it can communicate easily across the nodes so and your PE and AMPs is nothing but uh, the parsing engine and the access module processing units which will be comprised in a node basically a node is nothing but a teradata machine which is having the primary the parsing engine and then the AMP AMP is nothing but access module processor which is connected to the binet to another node so that will be in the series series uh, uh, you know way because uh, if you see we can actually increase multiple databases at the same time so that is the biggest advantage of Teradata because uh, for example I am the biggest customer I'm not sure what about my data today and tomorrow right? let's assume that I have 10 terabytes of data and I need only four or five nodes at this point of time okay that's fine well and good uh, we can have those five nodes but in case if I wanted to increase my data to the future, right? So I have to add multiple databases, I mean the nodes to increase my capacity of the data, right? So in order to do that, in other databases we have to have a downtime of the database, upgrade to the new version, or you know, shut down the database for some time and again we have to add new space to that. So something like that. A lot of you know hazards around in other databases. But uh, in Teradata we don't see that uh, you know problem because uh, 
the capability to increase the size or space of the database can be simple and uh, it can be done without any much hassle. I mean, there's no don't down time, sorry, down time uh, for the database. So we can increase the space on the series wise. Okay, so that is the biggest advantage of Teradata. And uh, as I told you, uh, Teradata is a shared nothing architecture. So basically, if you see um, the 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 IO interfaces, so each will have three to four five years lifetime. So and you know again each SMP like uh, in, except interconnected runs at IO rates and not memory rates. So that is the advantage like so what happens is the input and output interfaces have three to five years of time and we can have a shared nothing architecture so every amp can work on their individual capabilities so what happens is when you fire a query basically uh, the amp will distribute the parsing engine will distribute the query to the different amps to get the data so the amps will work on their uh, you know input output memory and the internal processing unit and get the data back to your binet and then PE back. So basically, this will be in a very uh, biggest advantage of share nothing because uh, if you have billions of rows in a database, also even with your select query with a primary index chooser on the table, you'd be able to select the data within less time. So that is the biggest advantage of Teradata, and it is very hard in the market. That's the reason because the retrieval of the data will be much faster compared to any other databases and with respect to number of rows I'm going to say billions of rows not in uh, thousands or hundreds right so that is a biggest advantage of uh, Teradata all right so and if you see the New York State Department of Health and I mean this is an existing customer of Teradata I just give an example like who are the customers for Teradata so far so this is you know, over you like there are different customers who is having you know more than five years of history with Teradata and it's a client since uh, 1991 so there are you know uh, different ways to improve the existing system so they have saved 187 million dollars due to you know the decision because obviously uh, whenever you say Teradata database uh, data warehouse why we need a data warehouse right so the thing is you have to make a decision based on some data so without better data we cannot be able to do a better suggestion or make a proper you know profitable suggestions so uh, ideally any ETL processing of the data will be finally loaded into data warehouse with the required capabilities of reporting so the reports will be you know much better way to see the users and can take the decisions okay so for example uh, uh, you know how they make a decision right so let's say that you know this company the New York State Department of Health have you know so many members uh, let's say 5 million members and uh, so they have submitted the claims and payments and right 1 million claim for example so what happens is sometimes if the data is duplicated or data issues with the payment so we may end up with paying double claims that's happening most most of the healthcare systems they don't have proper you know inbuilt system of capability of these data warehouses and all so they might loss in you know paying multiple claims several times to the same customer or if it is a duplicate claim right so that will be like a loss for the company right obviously they cannot do manually for each and every member because we have a lot of 1 million members so we never know there might be a problem with the data so in case you know if they have a poor capability of data warehousing and databases so what happens is the payment of the clients can be burdened to a company so it might be giving a over payment to the customers sometimes that might happen so to avoid all these things uh, they have taken teradata as a uh, data warehousing system and they have you know highly profited with this company and uh, they got very impressed and they have given a complete order for teradata for a longer contract and uh, for information most of the clients major healthcare industries and banking industries are actually uh, tied up with uh, teradata because it has uh, you know vast varieties of you know uh, processes in place okay this is about uh, the basic introduction to teradata why we need teradata